It's been 100 years since the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. Hundreds of black people were killed and dozens of blocks destroyed after a seemingly innocent meeting on an elevator between a white woman and a black man. Since then, community members of Tulsa's Black Wall Street fought to rebuild, but in subsequent decades, it wouldn't last. Donya Backus looks at the resilience of Black Wall Street and how the city is working to revitalize the area. By 1925, the resilient spirit of Greenwood was on full display. Many of the buildings were rebuilt. The family rebuilt the Williams Building less than a year and a half after the massacre. Including my family's Williams Building, which still stands today, and the Dreamland Theater. That same year, it was host to the National Negro Business League. Talk about hard work and tenacity and courage. By the mid-1940s, at least 200 black-owned businesses once again called Greenwood home. It said a dollar would change hands 19 times before leaving the community. Why is it not still around in that capacity today? It was desegregation. Now, the residents of Greenwood can take that dollar and spend it on Main Street in Tulsa for goods and services. And then here comes urban renewal. But to some in the community, that urban renewal looks more like urban removal. Interstate 240 is now where the Dreamland Theater once stood. This is now gone, vacant, and instead we have the side of a freeway. And it, it's so striking to me to see this here because you realize that it really did run through the heart of this district and right. it separated it. Rebuilding is what Phil Armstrong is determined to do. That the spirit of Black Wall Street is not a geographic location. It's a state of mind. It is that resilient, creative, entrepreneurial spirit. He's the executive director of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre Centennial Commission. Of what would it look like to revitalize economically Greenwood, to bring a resurgence of black-owned homes and black-owned businesses back? The commission is behind the building of Greenwood Rising, a history center dedicated to the Black Wall Street legacy. Armstrong says in order to rebuild, there must be reconciliation. Has it still been difficult, though, to have these conversations and to bring about this change? That journey to reconciliation is a difficult journey. This is the beginning of the next 3, 5, 10, 15, 20 years of trying to repair the damage that was done to our communities, uh, to our relationships, to race relations. In the beginning, he says, of writing a new chapter in Tulsa history. Don Yabakis, CBS News, Tulsa, Oklahoma. The 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre Centennial Commission is pushing for reparations for survivors. And tomorrow night, Gail King will host a CBS News special, Tulsa 1921, An American Tragedy. The primetime special airs at 9 o'clock right here on CBS.